In today's Vet Girl video, we demonstrate how to treat an abscess and also how to place a drain. Today's clinical case is of an eight-year-old golden doodle who basically presented for four limb swelling, lethargy, and fever. On physical exam, the dog looked good aside from the four limb swelling and had a fever of 104.5. Baseline blood work revealed a leukocytosis, and with sterile technique, we were able to aspirate the swelling, which revealed purulent inflammation. We sedated the dog, and using local anesthesia, which consisted of lidocaine, and sterile technique, we went ahead and made several stab incisions in order to create an opening to allow for the pus to drain. Thankfully, this one was quite rewarding, as you can see from the purulent discharge that's coming out of the stab incision. Once we bluntly dissected down and created an incision, we were able to gently manipulate the tissue to help squeeze out all that purulent discharge. Again, a great rewarding case. Our ultimate goal here is to create an opening that will allow this purulent discharge to drain, to flush it well, to place a drain that will keep the opening um, intact for two to three days, and then to treat this dog on an outpatient basis with antibiotic therapy, warm compresses, and recheck two to three days later for drain removal. Here, you can see that we're placing a Penrose drain, and we're placing it in so it creates basically a tunneling or opening so that the pus can drain out. We're making sure to tack down the drain and making sure that we're using a blind tack suture technique. The most important thing is that we do actually want to tug and manipulate the drain to make sure it's secured with the suture. Then we're going to leave one simple interrupted with relatively long tags so we can remove this in two to three days. We're also going to secure the ventral or the distal part of the drain and make sure that that's sutured in, again, with one simple interrupted suture, which we'll remove in two to three days. That distal tacking suture can go through approximately a third to half of the drain, but again, you want to make sure that it doesn't actually occlude the opening at all. We're going to trim the Penrose drain, more importantly, so the dog doesn't chew on it. The most important thing of treating an abscess is making sure that we're providing an opening that can drain and flushing. Remember, dilution is a solution to pollution. So here we're going to flush copiously. You can see the purulent discharge coming out of the drain itself. And we're going to do this until the fluid becomes clear. So depending on the size of the dog or the cat, using several hundred mils of just regular 0.9% saline to help lavage this area and flush it well. Thankfully, this dog did well and again was sent home on non steroidal anti-inflammatories, tramadol, clavulonic acid and amoxicillin, warm packing, an e-collar, and having the owner keep the incision clean by gently using a warm terry cloth to wipe away any excessive discharge. We rechecked this dog three days later, removed the drain, and the abscess appeared to be healing well.